In the Azure archipelago of the Aegean Sea, at the dawn of history, the city-states of Greece launched a thousand ships of war and set sail for the east to rescue Helen of Troy. Like sea-worn wreckage, washed ashore from a distant age, the ten years of battle and bloodshed which followed live on today in the fragmentary myths of the Trojan War. Three thousand years after the war became legend, Royal Shakespeare Company director and playwright John Barton set out on his own odyssey to resurrect these ancient stories and cast their timeless light on a modern world, at once very different and yet very much the same. With an army of the finest artists, actors and technicians from five countries, Sir Peter Hall adapted Barton's text for the stage of the Denver Center for the Performing Arts. It was a daunting task as bold as the Greek plan to build a Trojan horse. Tantalus would become a tale of heroic endurance and terrifying uncertainty, bone-weary exhaustion and, hopefully, triumph. a little after, a black dove was seen flying north from Egypt. It flew and it flew and it flew till it came to an ancient oak tree, ancient, gnarled and twisted, in the mountains of the Northlands. It perched there and it rested till it chirped and it twittered and began to proclaim the Oracle of Zeus. When Tantalus was conceived, Trevor Nunn was the artistic director of the RSC and he handed over to Terry Hands and John was meanwhile still working on it. And then in 1990, I became artistic director of the RSC. Nobody had seen a single page.